So we've worked about a week or so here now on the cantering online with Silvertail. So I wanted just to go over and show you how this is progressing, what it's moving on into. You know, we've covered how to help the horse start getting into the depart. And now we're working more on can he, you know, it's still the depart, but we're working more on can he maintain it, can he hold it a little bit longer. I'm going to ask him to back on and out. And bring him on out into the circle. And then we're looking for the three things of forward rhythm, maintaining a circle or the line of travel. And then the third thing is, is the horse band and bending through his body and using himself well. So I really had to work a lot on him just getting out there and maintaining this trot. Because that has a, a great effect on whether they're going to maintain the canter or not. You're still challenged with them maintaining the trot, then they're going to have a hard time maintaining the canter. But I like he's checking in, he's asking questions. Because he goes from getting a little worried to, hope I'll just stop. And I'm looking for him to find comfort just in trotting around. And that's nice. So I'll lift up my energy. And he thought about it but didn't take it. So I'm going to ask him to come back down, slow down just a little bit. I did that just by putting a little tiny feel on the lead rope. And get that trot going again. Without him speeding off and without slowing down. Nice lick and chew. And... And I'm going to go with him here a little bit. See, and he's still kind of fumbling around. He cross fires. He just picks up the wrong lead. So he needs lots of space. And if you notice too, I've got a little longer whip here now too because he's out there more. So I can just reach out and touch him if I need to. And then we set it up again. And that's nice because he actually picked up the correct lead. He kind of stalled out and I just briefly kind of lifted a little and he went back into it. And that's your choice or that's something that you're going to watch for. If the horse is pretty relaxed and just breaks gait and you feel like you can just ask him right back up politely, that's fine. But if they're kind of fumbling or fast or out of balance, just let them trot till they get their balance back and then ask for the canter. Don't get in too big of a hurry to say you must maintain, you must keep that going. Because you don't want to get them worried about, you know, if, if they break eight, something's going to happen or, you know, they're, they, they get really fast and out of balance usually if we just really force them to get into it and we want them to think about the canter as a nice relaxed place to to be so let's ask the other lead so getting an intent saying can you back up and off out on the circle the other direction so I'm asking his nose to go out there because he's looking in with the nose. So I'm pushing it out. And then I bring my life up a little bit. Ask for a trot. And then I can walk with my feet a little bit. But 
Make sure it's a circle coming around. Pretty good. And I'm gonna lift. Not bad. He, you know, his feet weren't quite right, but at least he stayed relaxed. He didn't get worried about it. We did a three quarters of a circle. Now I'm gonna just waiting on him to relax and find it again. Yeah. This is good. And just help them. There was I was a little late. Because if he's cantering quietly and you just see him slow down, they're gonna break gate, you can just say, hey, would you like to keep going? Without making it a big deal. Thank you. Can you keep going? Let's try it one more time. Because it's all about staying relaxed and paying attention. The silver tail here can get worried really quick. Nice counter canner. We'll try it again, see if he can pick up the correct lead. Yeah. See, and he's got quite a bit of a feel on the lead rope in pulling me, almost pulling me around. And I'm kind of going with it yet at this stage because it's more of a balance issue for him and he needs that space. And as he gets the, the canter better, he develops it better, he'll get softer in my hand and I'll start getting quieter with my feet. I won't walk as much. But in the beginning, you may have to move your feet around a bit just to get with them. Or just to stay with them and to help them because it's more about him finding the rhythm of the canter and getting in it at this stage. And as he gets more balanced and comfortable with it, he doesn't get worried he's not gonna pull out so much. So recap is really focus on a really quiet rhythmic trot. So can they maintain that trot? So if I send them out there, you know, is there consistency there? So we're looking for a real consistent trot. And then when he's there, then can I ask for the canter? Really nice. Yeah. And all I had to do when I asked that time was just kind of lift my life up. And the reason he responded so nicely is because I've been following through is, is if he doesn't respond, so it's a lift, a smooch, and then a, a little bit of a spank or a tag with the crop. And he just, as soon as I lifted, he went right off, was really good. And if he wouldn't, I would have added the smooch in and then the, the light tag, but not too much to where it, it scares them, but enough to say this is what's going to happen. And it's because we've done enough departs over the past week that he was just like, oh, okay, I know what that means. So it's about keeping it going a little longer now. 
And if you do that and your horse gets worried and you lose the depart, go back to that rhythmic trot and getting the trot or the getting the depart back. It just now it's just a matter of consistency. Over the next week or two, we'll get to where he'll be able to hold that canter longer and longer, get more balance, be able to start doing a smaller circle. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.